I want to talk about three teams that could have a turnaround season and make that push for the playoffs. So when I talk about turnaround season, I'm not talking about teams like the Minnesota Vikings. They went seven and nine last year. I'm not talking about the Chicago Bears. They already made the playoffs, even though you know their talent may not all be there. I'm talking about teams that absolutely suck in a lot of people's eyes. Which of those teams, the bottom eight, the last quarter of the NFL, could make that run for the postseason? I'm going to start off with team number one. This is the Atlanta Falcons. Bad teams that could turn around and make a playoff push. Listen, the Falcons, let's talk about the good, the bad, and what they could change which, with each of these teams. The good for the Atlanta Falcons. They have a high-powered offense. We already know that. Okay, We know that they have a high-powered offense. Now, the bad behind it is they lost Julio Jones, so it takes a little bit of that high-powered offense away. They found some replacements in Kyle Pitts, so maybe he can kind of cancel them out. But also another bad is the offensive line and the defense for so many years. Since the, man, I'm going to say the Mike Smith days of the Atlanta Falcons. It's really, when you boil it down, Arthur Smith, what he needs is an offensive line. They have some first-round talent there. Even Jalen Mayfield, who fell to them in the third round. A lot of people thought that he could have been a first-round pick at that point. They have a lot of first-round talent on that offensive line. So if they could just get that offensive line together in the defense, you drafted Richie Grant in the second round when you could have drafted Javante Williams. Hey, let's see if Richie Grant will work out for the Atlanta Falcons defense and help turn this defense around. So my team number one that could make a turnaround that's pretty bad right now and could make a playoff push, the Atlanta Falcons. I strongly believe it. It could happen. All right, team number two. Staying in the same division, we've got the Carolina Panthers. Couldn't make a push. They already have the top running back in the NFL, a lot of people would say. One of the top running backs, Christian McCaffrey. Uh, their offense is loaded. So we're talking about the good, the bad, and what could they, they could change. The good, their offense. The weapons, already there. Two great receivers. An up-and-coming receiver, if you haven't been watching preseason, is Terrence Marshall. That guy is going to ball out, whether it be this season or in his career, Terrence Marshall is really freaking good. Uh, so they have the offensive talent. Now you have a quarterback. In my mind, is he better than Teddy Bridgewater? Is he an improvement? Uh, it's 50-50. It's debatable. Can he push the ball down the field better than Teddy Bridgewater? With that question, I feel like he can. I don't know if he's going to be as careful, Sam Darnold is, as Teddy Bridgewater. It might be a little bit more turnovers, but uh, they got some quarterbacks there that can uh, really work well with that offensive talent. The bad now is, let's talk about the quarterback, Sam Darnold. This is the only thing that's really holding back this Carolina Panthers offense. You're just a quarterback away from having a really good offense. The Patriots realized that with Mac Jones. That's why they moved on from Cam Newton. And now the Carolina Panthers, are they a quarterback away from having a good offense? Sam Darnold could be that guy that could step up and be that quarterback of the future for the Carolina Panthers. So, I put him in the bad category because we still don't know how he's going to perform. But what could change and what could make them a playoff contender is if Sam Darnold were to ball out, were to do well this season. And this defense, really, Matt Rule has been spending the last couple of, of seasons honing in on that defense. I think the draft they had in 2019 was all defense focused. They got uh, Derek Brown on defense, Brian Burns. This is over the last couple of years. They've also drafted Jeremy Chin. As well, so if you get that young defensive talent together, the Carolina Panthers defense could be one that we could be talking about as one of the best in the NFL. So making a playoff uh, push, bad team number two, the Carolina Panthers. Bad team number three. This is a little bit of a stretch because on our power rankings they're ranked at number twenty nine, but I'm gonna go ahead and say the Jacksonville Jaguars question mark. I, I just based off of the draft that they had. So let's talk about the good, the bad, what they could change. The good, the draft. They had two first-round picks, two second-round picks, I believe. They had a third-round pick. I think they had two fourth-round picks as well. They were loaded in draft capital. And a lot of that had come from the Jalen Ramsey trade that they made. But two first-round picks was definitely worth it with Trevor Lawrence, your quarterback of the future, Travis Etienne, not this year, but maybe in, in years to come, he's going to be your running back of the future as well. So their draft alone was well worth it. They also drafted Tyson Campbell out of Georgia as their defensive back. Uh, Walker Little uh, gets some offensive line for Trevor Lawrence. 
and Andre Sisko, some more defensive back help as well. They signed some key free agents uh, on that secondary as well. Uh, and Shaquille Griffin, what could change and what could make this team a playoff contender is if they get that defense to turn around, if Urban Meyer ends up being a really good coach with Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I'm also going to say if LaVisca Chenault were to break out with the team and be that number one wide out for Trevor Lawrence, because he's been talked about in training camp being the best player in OTAs, and it's not even close. So let's see if that comes into fruition. Can the Jacksonville Jaguars be a bad team that makes a playoff push? So to recap, we've got the Falcons, the Panthers, and the Jaguars, three teams that are bad right now. By season's end, could we be talking about them making a playoff push? Leave your comments in the chat down below.